Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Nino tutorial. And today we're going to be talking about the social bar, okay? This social bar right here. Uh, we're gonna go more into the specifics on how to get your own social bar on your Wix page so that you can get people clicking to go off to your other sites, onto your Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter page, etc. So this is how we do it, all right? You go over here to this add button, click this add button, and then you just drag your cursor all the way down to it says social and it's on social. Then you move over. Here you have the social bar. Uh, you have Facebook, you got Twitter, you got Pinterest, YouTube, all the main ones that people use right now. Uh, and if you want to get any type of creativeness with it, you can bring this social bar over. You can, uh, you have a range of colors here. Uh, you can do black, you can do gray. I think you can also do white, but we'll see later down in the video. So right now, if you want, you can just drag a social bar over into your strip that you have here. Um, we can move it later. But right now, for this menu is you have the set social links, you have the layout, you have the animation, and then your Notorious Wix help button. If you have any questions or if you're curious about how else to do it uh, other than the way I'm going to show you uh, in a few minutes, uh, you guys can click this help button and this will help you showing you how to use the links in different cer sorts of ways. Hopefully I can hit all of those sorts of ways in this here video so you don't have to waste your time going to that help button. So let's start off with setting the social links, okay? So you go here, you have this media manager type window that comes up. You have all of your social links that you would put into that social bar, okay? Here you have your settings. Uh, so this is where you want to have uh, all new items to be at the start of the gallery or when you add them you want to add them with their current titles or you can add them with no titles i do not know why it's doing this but definitely gonna have to tell the wix team about that uh, then yep another wow this is just really messing up um but yeah so you can click here to put it at the end of the gallery or at a selected after a selected image okay so here this is where you can add the icons this right here is just you know to show you what button you're on exactly uh, and then if you want to replace that button itself you can just click here it's going to do the same thing as add an icon uh, this is your image info right here your title and then your linkage to your Twitter page or you know your YouTube your Pinterest your tumblr Instagram etc uh, and then when you're all finished and done you can click this done button right here uh, if you do not want to save any of the changes that you've already made you can definitely click click cancel or you can click this X button in the top so that you can exit out without changing a thing so we're gonna just get started with uh, adding at least one more uh, colorful icon and so what Wix provides us is a choice of a lot of social media channels. So the notorious Amazon here, Google Play, uh, iTunes, LinkedIn, especially for you business people out there, Flickr for your photography, uh, Blogger, that's just as it says right there, blogging, your RSS social icon, SoundCloud for your music, uh, Spotify for your music and title for your music and then they got TripAdvisor here if you uh, want to lead people to your TripAdvisor if you're like a realtor or something like that and so they have lots of icons from social uh, media apps here uh, so these are all the white ones these are all the colorful ones and then you can go down there will be the black and then there'll be the gray okay so you can choose between these uh let's see i want to do snapchat because i didn't see that on there and i think that's like one of the big three like facebook instagram then it's snapchat 
And then you have, you know, the others that come into play, which is Pinterest, and I'm not going to go on that. But I think Snapchat should be in this. So let's go ahead and add it to gallery. Boom. It adds to the front because we have that as adding our new image as well as it comes in with the title uh, that is current. Uh, so if you want, you guys can uh, put in a Snapchat link. Uh, you can link this. Actually, you can not put a link on it. You can actually add it to a web address and just put the web address, copy and paste the URL from your actual Snapchat page and then you can set it to a new window or a current window. Um, you can set it to your page inside. So if you guys want to show somebody your page of Snapchat on your website that you got going on, then definitely redirect it to a page. You can go here, click through and choose the page that you want. You can choose an anchor so it can go straight to that actual uh, strip that you have there or any type of anchor that you have on the page uh, then this is top and bottom page I don't think you would want to use that for it document if you have like a documentation on snapchat I don't know why but yeah you can and then you have your email then you have your phone number and then lightbox so you can connect a lot of things to just this social icon but right now I'm going to just click web address and I'm going to just put in snapchat Dot com okay make sure that you have the ww uh, as well as a dot com okay and I want to be set to a new window and I'm gonna click done this is in the result it's going to show up right here um, as the linkage connector to that page once I'm finished with that and I want to rearrange it however I want um, you know it's pretty simple you can look at it in a zoom effect so that you can see the whole thing because sometimes the image is zoomed in too much in this box so you want to just zoom it out just to see how it actually would look without any type of border on it okay and then so I am going to massage this around all right uh, take some things off like I don't know about tumblr so I can take tumblr off and then boom I click done okay so I'm finished it updated for me and then you can place this click and drag it anywhere you want on your page but yeah you can put it on a strip a page etc next we're gonna talk about the layouts so the layouts here is the icon size you have the spacing as well as if you want to put it horizontal or vertical okay so say for instance I want a vertical look so it's gonna push everything down in a nice clean vertical look as well as when you go up here to your spacing maybe I do want a lot of space so I want to just space it out a little bit more uh, make sure that you keep in mind that some of your stuff below that is not near any type of object because if you see there is an object below here and so that will get pushed down as spacing and icon size as you massage the sizes to this vertical drop down that will actually move as well and so you need to be cognizant of that if you don't want to change anything on your website then put it on a page that you don't want to mess up um, put it on a page that you do you do not mind messing up actually and then you can reset the size here I want to make it small so that it doesn't take up so much and then we can add animations to there that's the animation panel as well as there's a cool little thing that you can do is you can right click it and you can pin it to the screen so that means that this will be frozen on that page and it will not use its position okay so you click here you put it in the middle if you want middle side uh, you know scoot it over a little bit more like at 65 ish 67 doesn't have to be really perfect it depends on what your preference is so definitely go ahead with that but then here you got it pinned here 
and as you scroll down it doesn't mess up any of your other things that you got going on in the background and I think it's pretty cool because then it keeps people focused on hey if you want to reach me or hey if you want to see any of my other works you can click here in the social icon we can definitely preview this right now to see what it looks like and boom so I got this little video in the background but as it is it's pinned to the screen and looking pretty good actually it's looking really good and so I can click here or click to Instagram or to YouTube Twitter and it will redirect me into a new window that will go straight to Facebook or to my Pinterest so I'll click YouTube so boom it goes straight to my site and then People can look at my site, make sure that my videos are here, they can see my playlist, channels, all of that. So make sure that you guys go ahead and check out my other uh, tutorials right here. I'm definitely trying to help a lot of people out. So if you guys want to, you guys can have fun with it. And that's how you move a social bar into your Wix page. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a shot if you want. If you have any questions, drop it below. Thank you very much for watching. If this is a video that you like, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. All right, ciao now.